In this video, we're going to talk about political ideology. In the last video, we introduced this plane with the four quadrants to try and understand and categorize different attitudes about government and how people want the state to be organized. We can loosely call these ideologies. You've diagnosed a problem with society and you think there's a solution. That's really what an ideology is. It's representative of your worldview. And in political science, we like to try and categorize these. Probably heard of different isms, liberalism, conservatism, socialism, and so on. And each of these, it's tempting to try and place them in a spot on that plane. Each one would probably fit somewhere in a quadrant, but it's tough to really get a lot of information about that. What exactly does socialism mean? I mean, we could try and put it somewhere, but doesn't that really, doesn't tell us much about what they want or what that worldview espouses. And so a useful tool for trying to figure that out, it is what's called McCallum's triadic model of freedom. Don't need to know too much about that other than there, think of it as three circles. We can break every ideology down into an agent that is pursuing a goal, but something is in the way. It is a problem with society. Something is in the way of freedom. All of the ideologies want freedom. But the difference is what do they want freedom from and who do they want freedom for? All of those are different. And this model help, tries, to, tries to help explain that. I'll give you a couple examples. For example, for conservatives. For a conservative, the agent would be society. A nice, harmonious, well-ordered society is the agent. The things that are standing in the way would be radical change, disruption, things that are happening in society that are changing the traditional harmonious society. That would be the goal. The goal is tradition, stability, social harmony, but all of those other things are standing in the way. And so this is useful. Do you want to understand conservative ideology? You think of this. What is the agent, the obstacle, and the goal? Conservatives want a stable and a harmonious society. The thing standing in the way is change that is too rapid or, or disruptive. Now, liberalism. There's a couple different streams of liberalism and it's it's important to understand the difference. What we would call classical liberalism is the idea that the individual is the focus. And the goal is that every individual should have some kind of freedom of choice and equality of opportunity, free to do what they want with their life. However, things standing in the way, unfair traditions and social customs. And so, you know, things like aristocracy and hereditary title and peerage and those type of things would be antithetical to a classical liberal. Individuals should be free to do whatever they want. They should not be assigned to a certain school based on their, their accent or by their postal code. And so that's what they would see as, as unfair. However, in recent years, there's a, a been, you know, since the, since the 1970s and the, the affirmative action movement, something that we could call contemporary liberalism. At the time, it was called reform liberalism. And it's changed slightly in terms of the focus. For this worldview, the disadvantaged groups in society are the agent. And for them, they are being held back by social structures <clears throat> or economic inequality. And reform liberals, they don't just want equality of opportunity like classical liberals. Rather, they want to see the state come in to take corrective action. They want the government to come in and fix things to ensure more equitable outcomes to try and reduce things like economic inequality and social structures for the disadvantaged groups. <clears throat> one final one we can look at is socialism. Socialism is different in the sense that it is a class-based ideology. The agent isn't an individual, but an entire class of individuals, the working class. <clears throat> Excuse me, for socialism, the challenge here is private property. The fact that some people can own wealth and property and capital and accumulate it and then exploit the workers who have nothing to sell but their labor. So what do socialists want? Well, they want to see either some kind of state ownership of resources, nationalization of key industries, and then in terms of society, they want equality of condition. There should not be very rich people and very poor people. Everybody should end up with roughly the same amount. And so that's how we could break down loosely the socialism worldview. So think about those use the triadic model, the three circles to try and understand. We looked at conservatism, liberalism, socialism. 
<clears throat> there are many other isms you could do this to. So I'd encourage you to sort of think of those circles and then plug in um, you know, these, these, different, these, these different ideologies and see how you think they might look.